Okay, so the first thing you will need to do for the tiramisu is uh, pull espresso shots. Oh. Like with a double, pack it in there really well. And use um, the smaller cup, not the big ones. Put it under there and just hit this one, then makes unlimited shot. It doesn't really stop at a certain amount because uh, for tiramisu, I mean, it depends how strong you want to make it, but we just fill it up pretty much to the top so it's not like super strong or um, super light coffee. Um, so that's about it. You want to do uh, about 500 milligram. Um, you want to make about one of these full of coffee. Um, so yeah, the first few times maybe you want to measure it, I guess. Um, that first shot just came out a little bit too light. Probably didn't fill it up all the way. You want to press really good in there. To go faster about this process, you can utilize both sides. Probably the the fastest way to cool this, um, you would get an, an ice bath and another stainless steel going over it. And uh, you just pour the all the coffee that you just made in here. That way it will just cool faster in an ice bath. Yep, so I did 500, but with a, you don't want a foam, you just want 500 total, so. And that's it, and then um, occasionally, um, you want to stir it up, that it just cools faster. So that's about it for this part. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to put together the tiramisu. Uh, Angel's already pulled the espresso shots. Uh, maybe you can bring me the garbage. Actually, I'll just do it into here or the garbage can. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, so we have 11 whole eggs. We're only going to use the yolks. Um, so I'm just going to crack these in here and separate the yolks from the whites in my hands. Try to get as much of the white off as you can um, without breaking the yolk. You can pop it in there. Okay, so to these 11 egg yolks, we're going to add one and a half cups of white granulated sugar. There's one cup. We're going to add one more half cup to that. And on the mixer, we're going to use the whisk attachment. Make sure you're not using the dough or the other attachment. Okay, so we're going to make sure we get it up there. We're going to put it on medium for now to give it incorporation. And then we're going to put it on high so that it can get nice and fluffy. We really want to put a lot of air into the eggs and the sugar. Okay, okay so at this point, we're trying to watch for a good consistency. can just turn it off real quick and scrape some of that stuff that's not incorporated yet down in there. You don't want to see any sugar granules. You want them to be completely dissolved in the eggs. I think you could let it go for at least five to ten minutes. Really make it light and fluffy. While that's happening, I'm getting all the rest of my ingredients together. I have my lady fingers. I put six packages of lady fingers in here. Six packages of these. Cut them open. Uh, you should use exactly six for your recipe. Um, I've got my chocolate shavings in here. I've got my mascarpone cheese, my heavy whipping cream, um, and I've set my form on top of the back side of one of the half pans. Okay, so we let this go for about 10 minutes. Uh, you can see that all the sugar is incorporated and it has kind of a nice shiny gloss on it. It's what you want to look for. Um, then I have my mascarpone. You always want to make sure your mascarpone is up to date and not outdated and that it smells fine. 
So uh, we use half of this tub. This is a five pound tub. We use two and a half pounds. I'm gonna pop this down so I can put it in there. And I, I kind of eyeball it. You can measure it if you want. It's a thousand grams. Uh, but I just kind of eyeball it. So I'm going to make sure I get everything off my spatula. All right. And I'm going to let that incorporate pretty well. I don't want to over mix it, but I want it to be pretty well incorporated. So a couple minutes. And on medium speed, not high, or it'll go everywhere. Okay, so I've let this mix up pretty well. I'm gonna pull the, mix, the blade out of here. Set it aside because we're gonna use it one more time. And I'm gonna put all of this into a mixing bowl. I'm trying to get as much of it out of there as I can because I'm gonna mix the cream in it next. Pop that back in there. You can use the same bowl. You don't have to wash it if you don't want to. All right. Same whisk. All right. So we're going to use two full cups of cream plus about another third cup, probably. Okay, so I have my two cups of cream. Toss that in there sure I get all the stuff off the sides. Okay, and then I'm just gonna throw another dash in, probably another third or half cup. And we're gonna let this mix up to probably um, soft peaks, not hard peaks. Once it gets going, you can turn it on high. So we whip the cream to soft peaks. Um, you don't want to over whip it because you'll, the texture will just be too firm. We want it to be really light and airy. So it's kind of what we have here is just soft peaks. We're going to add this to the mascarpone that we made. Okay, so then we're going to fold this in. You don't want to stir it. Uh, you want to fold it and you want to make sure it's pretty well incorporated all the way through. See how on the bottom there, there's some mascarpone that hasn't really been incorporated yet. So we'll get it all. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to just tuck that aside. Got our form ready. And we'll just put that aside for a second. And we have our lady fingers and our espresso. I'm gonna take two at a time. I'm gonna dip them in for about three seconds. And then I'm gonna let them drain out. If you don't let them drain, they get soggy and then a lot of espresso will come out of the bottom of the form. So you want them to be soaked through but not soggy. So about three seconds in there. And I'm going to lay them in a row vertically down the form.
And you want to tuck them right up next to each other, really snug. Okay, I'm going to do a second row right next to those. Okay, so this last row isn't wide enough to do another row that way, so we're going to do them um, this way next to them. And usually I'm able to fit three in there. Because if you're using too warm of espresso, the cookies will get really soggy. Okay, so this these rows should fit in here just perfectly. Shouldn't have to do any other sideways stuff. Sometimes the cookies break in the package, so you kind of have to puzzle them in there. Usually works out. And I'll turn them sideways just to get them in there. Okay, so then we're going to add the rest of the mixture to the top. Spread it evenly all around. edges are nice and neat. <laughs> Angel likes it like this. Okay, so then we're going to do one more layer of chocolate shavings. Okay, then we don't need our glove anymore. And 
Then we're going to cover the top with cocoa powder. Not too much, this little goes a long ways, but you would definitely want to be able to give it some color. Okay, that's all she wrote. And then we usually pop it in the freezer, uh, the stand-up freezer, for we try at least a day. Um, and then we try to leave it out in the fridge for, I don't know, 12 hours so that it can thaw out. And that way the form holds really true. Uh, and you don't have any sagging or anything of the cream when you're cutting slices. Um, and you should serve it for refrigerator temperature, not frozen. So you need to make sure you have good time between the freezing time and the serving time.